In this video, we configure clipboard transfer direction in Azure Virtual Desktop. Hello everyone, I'm Travis and this is Raltos. There was some great news released recently. We can now control clipboard direction and content type with AVD. Coming up, we review how it works. Before that, you know the drill. Please like, subscribe, and click thumbs up if you enjoy this video. It helps others discover the channel and is greatly appreciated. Check out my courses on Azure Virtual Desktop, Hybrid Identities with Windows AD and Enter ID, and Windows 365 with Intune Management, available at udemy.com. Links are below. And thank you, channel members. Your support is appreciated. Back to it. One feature that other VDI solutions offer and until now was missing from AVD is the ability to control the direction of clipboard copy and paste actions. We could allow or block it, but that was the only option available. That changes with the new AVD clipboard transfer direction setting now in preview. With this feature, we can control the direction of copy and paste actions. We can block copy and paste from the session host to the local client or block copy and paste from the local client to the session host. This way, if we're in a situation where someone is updating a document in AVD and needs to paste something from their local client to the remote session, we can allow that while at the same time disabling their ability to copy out of the remote session. And it gets better. We can also limit the data type in each direction. We can allow text, text and image, text, image, and rich text, or text, image, rich text, and HTML. Let's dig into the details. This is a preview feature and was just released. Also, at the time of this recording, the session host has to be Windows 11 Insider Preview 25898 or later. For the example coming up, I deployed a single multi-session Windows 11 session host in a host pool and then added that session host to the Windows Insider program to get the latest Insider build. Not something I would suggest for production, but it worked for the examples in this demo. Enabling clipboard transfer direction is set at the session host. There are three ways to configure this. We can use Intune and an administrative template. If the environment has Windows AD, we can use a group policy to push out the settings or we can modify the registry directly on each session host. I'll leave a link to the document below that outlines the steps for each. The example coming up will edit the registry directly. There are two options to configure this setting. One is to configure it at the local machine and the other is applied for the current user. If both options are applied, the more restrictive setting will take effect. Why would we pick one over the other? Well, we have one option per user if we want to only apply it to certain users or we have the machine option if we want to apply it to the entire host pool. If we're applying the setting with a group policy object, we could use a policy that applies a clipboard transfer restriction to a group of users. That would be applied per user. That way, if somebody who didn't get the restrictions logs into the session host, those settings won't apply. If we want to apply the transfer restriction to all users that log into host pool, we would target the machines in that host pool. Once we select our user or machine scope, we have two directions we can configure. One is to restrict clipboard transfer from session host to client, and one is to restrict clipboard transfer from client to session host. You can set it in one or both directions. We'll review both in the examples coming up. If you use the GPO option, you'll probably need to copy the terminal server.admx and terminal server.adml file from the session host and place it into the group policy central store. These settings are new and won't be available in the older GPO templates. Let's jump into AVD to get started. Here we are connected to an AVD session. Let's take a look at copying data back and forth between the local machine and the remote desktop session. We can copy and paste that here. And we can copy another document and paste that into the remote session. That's the default behavior with no restrictions enabled. Let's put in a restriction. For this example, we'll prevent all copy and paste from the remote desktop, but we'll be able to copy and paste from the client. We'll use the registry option for this demo. In production, it would probably be a better idea to automate this with a GPO or use Intune or add it to the base image. We need to modify the registry. Let's open up the registry editor as an administrator.
Another option would be to RDP to the session host or use a Bastion host to log in. We just need elevated permissions to modify the registry. Once we have that open, we'll go to HP Local Machine Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows NT, and Open Terminal Services. This example is using the machine setting, so it applies to all users who log in. I'm using the machine, not the user registry keys. Let's add a new DWORD key named SC Clip Level. We'll open that up and we'll leave the default value of zero. Zero disables all clipboard transfers from the session host to the client. Next, we have to restart the session host so we can test. I'll pause the recording here and come back once I'm logged back into the session host. And we're back. We're logged into the remote desktop and there's a text document on the desktop. Let's try to copy that back to the local client. And paste isn't an option. So we weren't able to copy that document from the remote session or the session host back to the client. Let's try it the other way. Let's copy the client data text file. We'll go back to the remote desktop and we can paste that direction. That shows that one direction copy and paste is working. What if we want the opposite, the ability to copy and paste from the remote session into the local session, but not the other direction? We'll configure that next. Let's open up the registry editor as an administrator. Once we have the registry editor open, we'll go to HKey Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft, Windows NT, Terminal Services. We first need to remove the SC clip level key we previously added. That blocked copying from the remote session. We want to enable that for this example. Next, we'll add a new D word value called CS clip level. SC clip level is used to set redirection copying from the session host to the client. The CS clip level setting is used for copying from the client to the session host. I guess the S and the C represents the session host and the client in that key. And of course, you can use both registry keys to set redirection in both directions. We'll add the D word CS clip level. That defaults to zero to disable all clipboard transfers. We'll close that and restart the session host. I'll pause the recording and come back once I'm logged back into the AVD session. And we're back. Now that we've made that registry change, let's try to copy from the remote session host to the client with the remote desktop text file. Here we're in the local session, and we can copy from the session host to the local client. I'm gonna delete this to keep it tidy. And let's try copying back again from the client to the session host. Notice I was able to paste, but not the client file. I got a copy of the remote desktop text file that was in the clipboard for the remote session. So that is acting like we expected. We can't copy data from the client to the remote session, but we can from the remote session to the local client. We'll delete that. Next, let's restrict the data type. It's not all or nothing with this feature. We can define specific data types that are allowed. On the screen is a Microsoft document that outlines what data types we can allow. The link to this page is below. For this example, let's allow text and images from the client to the remote session host only. 
the value of that is two. Let's open up the registry editor as the administrator. And again, editing the registry is just one example of how to do this. In production, we need to set this across all session hosts. A GPO or Intune admin template may be a better option. Okay, here we are back at the registry editor. We're going to restrict the type of data we can transfer from the client to the session host. We do this with the CS clip level D word value. We already have that value from the last example, so let's open it. We'll change it from zero restrict all to two that allows text and images. We can close the registry editor. And here again, we need to restart this session host. Just like before, I'll pause until I log back into AVD. Here we are logged into the host pool with the clipboard restrictions set. Let's go back to the client and we'll copy some text. We'll open a document, copy that text. Go back to the remote session and we'll paste that text into the document. That works. Let's try the image next. Before we do that, let's try copying a text file. So we'll grab client data. We'll go back to the remote session. And paste isn't an option. If you need to copy files, remove the restrictions for that direction. Basically, no settings means everything's allowed, including files. The restrictions we're setting now are for data types. Let's do an image next. We'll go back to the client. And for this example, we'll open the snipping tool. And we'll simply grab a portion of the screen. There we go. And we'll copy that. Now let's go back to the remote session. We'll open up Paint. And we'll go Edit and Paste. That shows we can set the direction and the data type for clipboard transfers. We'll close Paint. Next, we'll look at our GPO options. And to do this, I'll log into the session host as an admin. For this example, I'm going to log in using RDP. OK, now we're logged in to the session host as an administrator. That allows us to open up the local group policy settings. We can set this under computer configuration so it affects all users logging in or users to target a group of users. Let's take a look at the configuration. We'll go to Computer Configuration and Administrative Templates, Windows Components, scroll down to Remote Desktop Services, Remote Desktop Session Host, Device and Resource Restrictions. Here we have two settings, restrict clipboard transfer from client to server and restrict clipboard transfer from server to client. If we open up one of those and select enable, here we have the same options as we did with the registry editor. We can disable clipboard transfer, allow plain text, allow text and images, allow text images and rich text, and allow text images, rich text, and HTML. These settings are only available in the new terminal server admin template. You'll need to copy the template files to the group policy central store to use on domain group policies. And keep in mind, this is still in preview. That is how to configure clipboard transfer directions in Azure Virtual Desktop. I hope that helps you better understand how to configure clipboard transfer directions in AVD. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching.